The annual ritual of thanksgiving and prayers to mark the beginning of every year continues for Governor Ifai Yokoa of Delta State. Flanked by his wife, Edith Okoa, government officials at both the state and federal levels, politicians and traditional rulers, Governor Okoa attributes the success of his administration to God's grace and urged leaders and authority to have faith in God, insisting that he will not be manipulated on a choice for the next governor of the state. He urges Deltans to pray for him to finish strong and also to pray for God's direction on a predecessor. Pray that God will cause his will to be revealed to me. That's the greatest justice that you can do to our people. So pray for me that God will cause his revelation and that I will have the will to obey God rather than obey man. From the Thanksgiving service, the governor heads to inspect the ongoing construction of the interchange and bridge around the Koka area of the Asaba Onicha Expressway. Governor Okoa gives January 2023 as delivery date, promising not to allow the politics of the general election distract him from completing ongoing projects. I would at least like to have the project commissioned during my time. On January 2023, there will be a lot of campaign. We may not even have time to talk about commissioning of projects. They may need to have to begin to work even at night. And I've just asked him to invite the senior management to see me early next week. So I will look at the possibilities of uh, adding on onto the equipment that they have here. I believe that uh, with the quality and capacity that they have, they can definitely abridge time. Uh, and I, I think that we are going to work towards that so that we're able to ensure that we'll finish the interchange uh, in the course of this year and it does not spill over into next year. This is the first time the governor is inspecting the Cocker flyover project since it was flagged off in 2021. The construction along the benin Onicha Expressway is, among other things, designed to ease the gridlock along the corridor.